welcome back to FFT. Now, in my last video, I did say it would probably be my last pike fishing session, but I managed to get back out. I've got just over 24 hours. Now, the place that I've come, steeped in pike history, it's a big 288 acre lake in the Lake District. Um, under the current stewardship, I think they've had it for about 12 or so years. Um, they've never allowed night fishing. I have fished here in the past, but those times I've been out on the boat um, and I've actually bank fished it. But I've always wanted to come and do a bank session. And I thought, what better time to come than now? We are just into March now, so there's only a few weeks left of the pike season left. Now, this lake, in its history, it's thrown up a 46 pound pike before. There's a strong head of 20 pound pike in here. But under the current stewardship, there's never been a 30 pound pike caught. My thoughts are, Danny comes, 24 hours, season ticket members watching, gets a bite, it's a 30. I'm a hero, go down in pike fishing fort though. It's happening. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, as I've never bank fished here before, I've got a rough idea of the lake in this area, but I'm going to get the lead rod out, I'm going to have a lead about, and I'm going to see what we're fishing on. I'm going to anticipate it could be quite snaggy, maybe quite rocky, but I won't know till I get that lead out. So without further ado, let's do some leading. So... Obviously, never fished these runs before. Never fished from the bank before, so I'm just going to have a, a lid around to start with. See what we've got in front of us. Oh, we're all ringing trees here. I might have to get the waders on. See how we get on. See how, see how deep we are out there. Oh God, I've got about 20 foot of water there, not too far away. So I sent the first one out, that was on half a joy mackerel. Uh, this one, middle section, I've got a lamprey because I'm going to give this a big chuck, I think. And as we know, lamprey's tough as old boots and it'll cast like a dream. So the middle one's going to go out now. Uh, just to there, feel that down. Oh yeah, that's a good 20 foot of water there, I'd say. Good 20 foot of water. That's line tightened up. Get the alarm set. Job's a good one. Well, as you can see, the bobble light is on. We've just gone past dinner time. Temperature has dropped, it's cold. <laughs> um, it's starting to rain a little bit as well. Rain was forecast, but you can't, I can't let it put me off anymore. Um, wind's not too bad though, to be fair, at the moment. And the wind that is coming in, it's coming in from the back. So I'm pretty, pretty sheltered from that, to be fair. Tactics for today. I am just fishing baits directly on the bottom with my usual setup, rum ring, four ounce lead, 20 inch trace, two treble hooks. So I've up the, up the size of the trebles to size sixes. Uh, I was using size eights at clear water. Um, and also the hardware I'm using, I've, I've beefed that up a bit. I've got my three and a half pound test curve rods. I've always got 70 pound power probe buried on the on the reels. Um, I use that pretty much anywhere I pike fish, no matter what I'm fishing for. It's thin and it's strong, you know, that that's never ever gonna break. The, the hooks are gonna give before that line goes. Um, I did bring quite a few ledger stems and all my bait popping up stuff, but because uh, I was expecting to be fishing over quite a bit of debris, but as you've seen, it's quite clear. So they're just pinned to the bottom. Whether that's going to work against me, uh, I don't know. Obviously, it's clear out there. There's no no actual features apart from the sloping shelf. But when you book the night fishing, there's only a certain amount of pegs um, on this car park, and they are booked up for the weekend. This was the only one that was available. In fairness, I don't think it's too bad, actually, because peg four, obviously, when I led it about peg four, I'm assuming they've just got shallow water in front of them. And I'm assuming peg one and two, that's probably where you're going to get the deeper-ish water there. 
but I've got the shelf going down and I've also got the shelf going up to my right. So I'm in sort of the ball, which I think is a feature in itself, I guess. You know, it's, it's sort of swinging around. It could be a good patrol route for the pike. I've just, so I've got one, one bait out to the left into the deepest area I could find. My middle rod's a long chuck into the middle. Well, not the middle, obviously. It's about two mile long, but the middle of my swim, should I say. And then my right hand rod. Just put it on, up up on the shelf. It's probably in about 10 foot of water. So sort of mid, sort of mid, uh, mid depth. Happy with the baits, you know. Uh, if you do come here, uh, you aren't allowed to bring your own baits. I knew that from previous sessions. You've got to buy it on site. You've got a great stock though, to be fair, and it's relatively, it's relatively cheap. You know, it's it's no no more expensive than a tackle shop. In fact, oh my god, I've got a bite! I've got a bite! Nothing on. Ah. Hmm. Let's have a look. Let's check this bait out. There's no markings on that bait at all. Strange. I wonder if something just took the line in the water, maybe. Anyway, we'll get that back out there. We're coming up to probably the last half an hour of daylight. You might be able to hear it's raining. It's absolutely hammered down since two o'clock. Um, apparently it's going to be tipping it down to about eight o'clock and it's going to get a bit more milder. When I say milder, I mean the rain's going to stop, but it's going to get cold. Um, there's going to be a lot of low lying mist apparently all evening. Um, just hope the rain stops to be honest. It just makes the things just a bit more difficult. <clears throat> Nothing's happened fishing wise. Um, but this is the sort of time that you come for. You know, this last hour of light and the the first hour of dark can always be a very productive time. Um, probably going to give it another an hour and a half. And I'll make some dinner, I think. I've actually just I braved the braved the rain. I've refreshed the baits. <coughs> the right rod went similar sort of area where it was, a little bit closer. Middle rod out into the open. The right hand rod, I've actually cast it a bit further right, so it's actually in the shallower water. Um, they won't be going out again unless something happens on one of them you never know but yeah um, they're all refreshed now half an hour of light left and then it'll be sort of time to make some dinner I think um, pretty hungry to be fair I have got some thin like thin slices of steak some mushrooms and some onions some mustard and some of big bombs I'm gonna have some of those I think for me tea looking forward to um, but yeah as I said fishing front has been, been relatively quiet the boats went in about three o'clock I don't think they they did anything but fair play to them they were braving that rain um, uh, but yeah we'll see see you see what the night brings I'll be honest with you I've come more for this time and I've come you know, you pay the money, I'm paying for that first couple of hours before it comes light. Around five o'clock, you know, I'll be setting my alarm early, I'm going to be up early. And that's that's the time then, I think. That's when I want to be on the bank, four hour window, two hours before, two, hour, two hours after, after first light. Um, which, you know, you don't stay the night, can't fish those hours of darkness before, because the place doesn't open, you see, so see what happens. 30's coming. I can feel it. 
feel it in my bones. Or I might just need a piss. Anyway, I shall catch up with you soon. Finally got dinner on the go. Some sizzling steaks, mushrooms and onions. Bash them on some balm cakes with some mustard. The jobs are good. times last night about half past one I had a couple of beeps on my middle rod nothing came of that then about half past three there's a gaggle of geese over there and they woke up and they didn't shut up till five o'clock this morning it's still going on a little bit now but not, not as much as last night it was enough to wake me up don't know if they're mating or what but my God. Anyway, today it's a uh, what a contrast. It's dry. There's no wind. It, the place is like a mill pond. It's unbelievable. Um, I refreshed the rods about six o'clock, about an hour and a half just before first light. Obviously, I didn't record that because it was dark. Um, I've had a little bit of a change up. Staggered the rods a bit differently. My left rod. I brought one a little bit closer, more near the, onto the slope where the snag was earlier, a bit further than that. Uh, the middle rod I brought that in as well, and the right hand rod I've cast that a little bit further, but it's in front of me. Some guys to, have come in today, so I've just got the water in front of me. Um, it is now ten past seven. Sorry, ten past eight. Mine's going long. Um, I've got till about, I've got to be off by half four, so, I've got a good, uh, 12, I can't even do the maths, seven hours fishing left, um, feels right this morning, it looks beautiful, it's beautiful, it really is, it really is. The snow capped, well, I'd like to say mountain, but I guess it's classed as a, as a fell up here. Um, almost looks like Mount Fuji from where I'm sat. Um, yeah. What a beautiful place. Just a nice place to be. Be a lovely place to camp, which is in effect what I'm doing because I'm not catching no fish. But anyhow, let's see what the day brings. I think sure the trout have moved into the swim. The middle rod has gone off twice now within the space of five minutes. And it's taking line, taking line, taking line. Nothing there. But there's little lacerations at the end of the bait. So I think some trout might be in the area. I'm picking the baits up. Um, there are some big trout in here. So... If it goes again, I might just leave it a little bit longer um, and see if we can get a trout on the bank. Right, so what I'm going to do now, just to test this theory, is I'm going to cut this smelt down so it's a bit smaller, just to see if there are the trout in the area. There is a man fly fishing over there, so we could be in the know. So I'm just going to take another inch and a half off that bait. <coughs> I'm going to put that little small smelt tail out. Okay. 
I was punching out to the area where where they seem to be picking these baits up. Found the deep, the deep area. Let's get that tightened up. Well, you are it out about the trout. the most beautiful blank saber I've ever had and believe it or not probably the biggest trout I've ever had call that an APB right, let's get you rested Come on. well as you can probably hear it's, been, it's tipping down again uh, probably got about an hour left it's, it's been a nightmare with the trout they keep at the base of them running I've just had another one it was, that one actually came in it was about a pound <laughs> can you do? They didn't like car fishing, they've just been screaming off all day. Made it really hard work to be fair. Um, nothing you can do, but at least a bit excited. Anyway, we've got about an hour left. Um, we'll see if we can get anything else in that hour. Uh, fingers crossed, let's see. Well, the session's nearly at its end. Probably got about 30 minutes left um, before I need to start thinking about getting everything away. Travelled pretty lightly, to be fair, so it only took me 10 minutes to pack up. Um, no pike to report, but it is that time of year. We, we know some of the lads on the boats have said they've, they've seen the pike thrashing around in the reeds, so they're obviously spawning, but all pike don't spawn at the same time. And this time of the year, it can be a little bit of a miss. Sometimes, you know, you've got a chance of that really, really big fish. This is when they are caught, to be fair. But there's a massive percentage that they may blank. They technically blank. As you saw, I caught a trout there, just over three pounds. So, not a blank. Not a blank. Um, I think that's going to be it for the pike now, for the for this season. I may be able to get a day on the canal one day, um, just before it finishes, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, no pike. But, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed being here, it's, be it's a beautiful place. And I hope it'll give you a bit of an insight into, into this fishery. And if you have liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Put a comment in the bottom. I'll always reply. And if you are feeling really generous, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching.